that uh, a team like Kaza Chips really, really need to sign Victor Litualo from Real AM. Do you think that they just need to go all out to sign a player like Victor Litualo? Reason being is there are so many players that came and go at Kaza Chips because they did not fit Kazuchins. I'm reminded of a striker, a striker that, uh, you know, he was of full body muscles, you know what I'm saying? I think his name was Seth Jahoa, if I'm not mistaken. Do you remember the likes of Thomas Sueso from Zimbabwe? Do you remember the likes of, um, okay, Numizu Mabena went to Orlando Pirate and then it didn't work, you know, because those clubs, guys, are very, very big clubs, you know what I'm saying? There are so many players that went to Kaiser Chiefs, it just didn't work. Look at the player like Ryan Moon, who was, who was recently rele who were released by Kaiser Chiefs, and then um, maybe two seasons ago, and then now he's playing international. And then there are players where, when they are released from these two big clubs, particularly when they go to the back to the small club, they're doing well. And then, you know, another thing is that just because a player is doing well to these small clubs and is also scoring against these big teams, it doesn't necessarily mean that that player, he's a Kaiser Chiefs or an Orlando Pirate material. So the question that needs to be asked, and we need to be faithful and we need to be honest when we answer that question is that, is this player a Kaiser Chiefs material? How many players these days Kaiser Chiefs sign and they are just waste of time? Of late, of late, of lately, you're talking of Akum Agei. Is Akum Agei a Kaiser Chiefs material? And you can all agree with me that that's not a Kaiser Chiefs material. A lot of people have come and go with Kaiser Chiefs because they are not Kaiser Chiefs material. Only few players can stand for that pressure. You know, Kaiser Chiefs signed the likes of uh, Leonardo Castro, Samir Nokovic, players that came to Kaiser Chiefs and even though maybe we may not like uh, how they play or whatever, but at least they came to Kaiser Chiefs and they did something. Other than the players such as your Bacchus, though he hasn't gotten enough time to, to play at Kaiser Chiefs such as your Lazarus Gambul, though he hasn't gotten enough time to, to play at Kaiser Chiefs, but even when they are given time, you know, they kind of like do not have that um, outstanding game such that, uh, you know, everybody is convinced with their with, with, with how they play. I am not saying they need to let them go, but I'm just saying that playing for Kaza Chips, guys, is not a pub and need. Kaza Chips, playing for that big team, wearing that jersey, it's not for everybody. It's not every player that scores, that is a, a top goal scorer, can actually play for Kaza Chips. No, the thing is, it's just all over the world. Not every player that does well in English Premier League, under Aston Villa, under Bremley, under, you know, you name all those teams, doesn't necessarily mean, or doesn't necessarily make them a, a it, oh, it gives them a qualification to play for a team like Manchester United, Manchester City, Arsenal, Liverpool, uh, Tottenham Hotspurs. No, a team in, 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 in Spain, you know, you might score against Real Madrid. You score uh, every time you play, you play against them, you score against them, but it doesn't necessarily mean you are actually in the standard of, of Vinicius Jr., your Karim Benzema, your Luka Modric, your Marcelo, your, your Casemiro, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't necessarily mean, make you uh, or give you the, the right to think that you are in the same standard as Hazard, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that just because he keeps scoring against Kaiser Chiefs, it doesn't necessarily make him a, a Kaiser Chiefs material. And that's what we need to get in. I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced about his performance. And I, I don't know about you guys, you might have seen things that I do not see. But if you were to ask me between Bongan Zungu in, in, in international and him, I think for Kaiser Chiefs, they, 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 it's better to go all out for a player like Bongan Zungu instead of going all out for a player like Victor Litton. I don't know about you guys, but for me, going out, going all out for a player like Victor Litton makes much more business sense. You know, it, you know it, it will come back and occupy the space. A player that has played, most of the time, players that has play, uh, have played internationally for a longer time, when they come back home, they do well. Unlike players that who just went for two years, three years, and they come back home, they not, they don't, most of them, they don't necessarily do well in these big teams. But I don't know, I'm giving you the likes of um, uh, Lebohang Manyama. He hasn't done what he did at uh, Cape Town City, you know what I'm saying? So he went to overseas two, two seasons, if I'm not mistaken, and come back home, he's being bought by Castle Chips, he's not living up to the expectations, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I'm, I'm saying, just because you are a top goal scorer, just because you are a creative midfield in the PSL, doesn't necessarily mean you are a Castle Chips material. What's your take about Vitality Twilight?